Hi, I'm Dr. David Harabedian, founder of virtualchurchmedia.com. My wife and I, we have three primary areas of ministry that your ministry gifts and partnership help fuel and fund. We're asking you to help fuel us up today to send the gospel message around the earth. Number one, we reach people in Africa. We have Evangelist Israel Agre and a ministry center in Lagos, Nigeria. Recently, there were seven different villages in the rural areas of Nigeria, about 75 miles outside of the capital city of Lagos, that were greatly impacted, 60 witch doctors fled the area. They eventually came back into the Lord. The power of God fell. We funded beans and rice as they preached Jesus Christ, lit up the generators with the fuel. The light went up in the sky in an area where there's no electricity, no running water. There's the average income is $250 to $500 a year. That's our Africa Missions link on our website. And we also have a giving function there. So it was reported that of those seven villages over those 35 nights, 170,000 people were impacted and committed their lives to Christ. Israel Agre and his team of 30 as his core team, there was 350 total workers and now 5,000 additional of the 170,000 want to go into full-time ministry. We're building a ministry center there on four acres of land. We'll be digging a water well. And so those are the things that we do through virtualchurchmedia.com in addition to our prison ministry where we have ministry resources on electronic tablets through the Adovo uh, application where prisoners have the virtual church on demand from the palm of their hand in their prison cells helping change lives one Bible at a time, one ministry resource at a time. And this is in hundreds and hundreds of prisons across the United States. The last I checked was over, um, I think 1,100 the other day, but now they're gonna be on 800,000 tablets. And that's what your donor dollars go for, is to set the captives free in Africa that they've never heard the gospel, in the prison setting where they're hungering and thirsting and they know they've made a mistake. And we also have a TV broadcast to the Middle East on rabbit ears. So here's what's interesting. The gospel goes out on rabbit ears. People that can't afford cable are hearing the gospel. They're not able to fund backwards to meet the needs of the ministry. Prison ministry, not able to fund, making 12 cents an hour, but they're hungry for the word of God and there's a captive audience. Africa ministry, average incomes, $250 to $500 a year in the rural areas, uneducated, maybe 10% even can read and write. So we have the gospel going out in numerous ways. And the only way we can do this is with the friends and partners that God has linked hearts with, with either one-time gifts or monthly partnership. Will you rise up and send the gospel unto the nations and ask the Lord right now, just take one moment to pray and obey and whatever that number is that God put in your heart, for a one-time gift or a monthly partnership, I ask you to do it. I'm David Herbedian and I approved this message. Thank you in advance for obeying the Holy Spirit today.